Where am I? Well, Churchill called this place my love. Actually, the name means the city of God. Hmm? The Red City, also known as the Pearl of Africa. Any guesses? No? Well, maybe with a little help of some of my friends. Friends? Hello, my friend. of God is an oasis located on the border of the Sahara Desert between Africa and Europe. Since the dawn of history, convoys of traders have passed here, turning this city into one big lively market that presents until this very day unique colors, tastes and smells, and an enormous amount of food stands. And that's exactly why I'm here. I have 24 hours to taste everything this wonderful city has to offer. I know it sounds impossible, but I'm willing to die trying. We're going deep. I'm standing here at the Jama El Fna, Marrakesh's main square and beating heart. The human scenery changes here a few times a day. This place attracts crowds around the clock. It is now approximately 8.23 in the a.m., what is known to be as the hour of Marrakesh's famous orange juice sellers. Only problem is, how do you choose? Fresh, fresh. Go. Hello, my friend. How are you? Very yes. good. How are you? You like orange juice? I would love orange juice. Well, let's check for try. Oh, thank you very much. How do you say cheers? Besaha. Besaha. Marrakesh vitamin C. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's, it's cool. really good. Taste. It's so sweet. You put sugar in it. It's not sugar, no water. It's just orange juice, fresh one. How are the oranges so sweet? Orange, it is a la fleur. Three months, six months, après, you vin fresh. Oh, okay, I see. Well, because the oranges are from a warm climate, they stay on the tree longer, and so they become sweeter. Wow, it really is brilliant. Is it a popular drink? Yes, all is drink for orange juice. But only or tourists or also Moroccan? Tourists and Moroccan. And I'm Moroccan then. Ah. Fisaha. Do you know the saying, Eat like a king in the morning. Well, here in Marrakesh, they took this saying quite literally. And in the morning, you can find here a soup with beef. <laughs> what kind of soup is it? Harira. <laughs> All right, I'll taste it. Oh, magnificent, very good. What, what's inside? I see there's tomatoes and chickpeas, hummus, and lentils. And, and beef Come inside? Come on. All right. Very good. Shuhada. Tamar, litats. This is dates? Dates. And you eat it with this? Yeah. Together? Yeah. Excuse me, what is this? Sweet. Sweet? Sweet. What's the name? Shpakia. 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 I know this might seem a bit odd, but you have the beef soup with some dates, 
with some sweets and all this at around 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Really good. The soup is very silky and smooth and nice. Now the sweet thing is really sweet. Oh, yeah. This is the strangest thing I've ever tasted in my life. You get this blast of sweetness and then you get this beef soup and they kind of blend in together and it's quite a weird and funny sensation. Thank you very, very much for the soup. Thank you. Marrakesh's market is famous for its diversity. Now what makes this market so unique are these alleyways in the old city. Now each alley has its own definition. You have the, the wool alley, the leather alley, the shoes alley, the blacksmith alleys, the Alibaba. Well, not that, but it all gathers up and creates one of the most thriving and exciting markets in the world. For a successful haggling in the Marrakesh market, there are three golden rules. One, do not show any enthusiasm. Oh my God, this is the most amazing slipper I've ever seen in my entire life. Two, be persistent. So how much is it? 150. Oh, sounds fine. And three, if all that doesn't work, just go to another stand. All right, I'll take them. Take it from the master. Ah. Hi. What would be a typical Moroccan? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Very little chickpeas. Biscuit anis. This has anis inside? Yeah. Mmm, it's nice and crunchy, and but it, it actually doesn't taste like a biscuit. It's full of anise. Okay, so give me a little bit of this and a little bit of this, please. Thank you very much. Bye bye. They are very very nice here. I must say. Is this for the bees or is it for people? A flower. Oh, that's why all the beers are here, because it's actually a flower. Mm. What is this? What did I eat? The flower. The flower. Almond, sesame. Almond and sesame. Yeah, pistachio. Pistachio. This is a traditional uh, Moroccan? Yeah, Moroccan. Traditional? Yeah, Moroccan. All right. No, thank you. Okay. For the mariage, Fatima, the mariage. Ah, thank you. All right. If I eat this, I might get married. Ah, just never ends. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we're in the spices square. For the Moroccan people, food without spices is like a rose without a scent. It's like Cinderella without a prince. It's like winter with no rain. It's like a woman without... Um, um, yeah, well, I think I made my point there. Here, they have a hundred spices for food, for remedies, and for witchcraft. Hello. Good morning. I'm Ishai. I'm Lubna. Nice Lubna? To... Lubna. Lubna. Yes. Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, yeah, what, is this, what is this hot place? It's a... This is a traditional pharmacy. You sell spices, right? Yes. So why do you call it a pharmacy then? Because we sell also uh, medical plants, preparation to cure some illnesses, oils also. That's why hey, we call it pharmacy. So we are going deep here, not only into the food, but yes. into the soul yes. and the body. Uh -huh. What would be the most common yes. uh, Moroccan spices that are used? Let's show you the cumin, the Moroccan one. Ah. It's 
very good for white cheese. Yes. And here in Morocco, we use it as medicines. As medicine? Yes. Against diarrhea uh -huh. and stomach ache. So how would you, if you have a stomach ache, how would uh -huh. you use the cumin? One teaspoon in a cup of water. In water? We mix, then we drink it. All right. Mm -hmm. On we go. Mm -hmm. After the cumin. Uh, the pure saffron. Saffron. The most expensive spice in all over the world. Yes. But why is saffron such an expensive uh, spice? Because in order to, to get one kilo mm -hmm. of saffron, we need 500,000 flour. Okay. How do you know it's real? I will show you how we know the pure one. Okay. We try a little bit. Oh, mm. we're really going into chemistry here. Yes. So what do we have in these glasses? Water. So you put the saffron in, yes. just in, in plain water? Yes. All right. Oh, this is a fake yes. saffron? Yes. So here we've got the real saffron, and yes. here we've got the fake saffron. So the real one will extract kind of so this yellow color yes. that's coming out. Yeah. It's good it, for the health. Yes, it clean the 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 the, the blood. Uh -huh. Yes. Hmm. The sa <laughs> saffron. That's nice. Yes. Also, it's very good in order to get energy. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. I will say thank you very much. You're welcome, it was sir. Very interesting. You're welcome. <laughs> Mon Dieu. <laughs>
سعيد مبارك في وفيتك يا يمينا هي تجي الخوفية خبارك المرد اللي ديك لك نباني طاقة لك نشوفك You sell this? What? Just people that will keep it for the house. Yeah. Yes. We'll put in the tree that we eat insects. Oh, they eat insects. Okay, you can take them back now, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. Oh, this looks nice. Can I have one? There we go. Mmm. This is really good. What? Where'd you get this? Do you make it? No. Then, mama. Your mama? Huh? Where is she? Oh. Maybe we'll meet the mama. Huh. Where are you taking me? Huh. This is an adventure. This is your house. Where are we going? What's going on? What is going on here? Yeah. Hi, look. Hi. Your son here. Well, he had this uh, interesting initiative of bringing me here. Can I watch how you make? How? What's your name? Nazira. Nazira? Yeah. Drisia. Drisia. So what are you making? Smida. The cook is called Smida? Yeah. So you got eggs, cook, coconut? Sugar glassy, Sanida. Sugar. Mia, zit, zbda. So this is the butter. Shava. Put it in. Yeah. Whoa. Put in the coconut. Yeah. Oui. How is he saying? Cook. Arabic cook. Yeah. Uh, cook. Uh, cook. 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 Got some cook here. It's beautiful. Now olive oil. Uh, zit. Zit. What's it? Oh my God. Some some tea. Thank you. It's amazing how they do it. Now we're ready for some real cookie making. Uh -huh. Make a little ball. Into the rose water it goes. Into the sugar it goes. Onto the pan. Wonderful. And a nice little almond on the top. Now watch. صافي دركا بين القبطه كملتها نمشيوها للفران يلا بيرفكت 20 دقيقه ولا 10 minutes 10 15 minutes oh i can have a few oui oh thank you so much just one for the road and maybe one more for for after the road and just maybe one more for, for, for you know, maybe I'll meet a friend or something. And, you know, just one last one because they're really delicious. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, okay. All right, bye-bye. At 23 in the evening, the Jama El Fna changes its face completely and is transformed into a giant food market. Here you can find an enormous variety of the best Moroccan traditional food. So let the party begin. Snails. Is this a Moroccan dish? Is this like traditional Moroccan? Oui? I didn't know Moroccans eat escargot. Oh my god! Look, you can see its little. You see here? The little. 
It's okay, I'll never get used to this gooey feeling though with the escargot. It is 21 minutes after midnight. Now if you are worried, worry not my friends. Because if you get a bit peckish in the middle of the night here in Marrakesh, you have the Marrakesh. to the people, yeah, fight the power, man. Yeah, let's eat, oh, let's have some Marraguez. Let's eat. Okay, here we have some nice Marraguez. Yeah, you have Marraguez. Okay. It's uh, grillé. So what's the difference between the, the Marraguez and say uh, a hot dog, you know, in New York or something? Yeah, it's saucisse, the saucisse Lorman. Uh -huh. Sans pécan, okay. sans les épices, uh -huh. sans le mot de sel. All right. Well, I think in general, it's much better than your everyday hot dog. So, one more guess, going down. Bon appétit. It is very nice. Good, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.